Hey everyone, this is Teo from ParkerBlocks.com. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Noodles Ink Lexington Grey. This ink is sold in this 3 ounce bottle, so that's quite a lot of ink. That's 90 ml. On the label, it says here that it's UV light proof, it's made in USA, pH neutral, water based, it's bullet proof on cellulose paper washes off plastic with tap water so this ink is supposed to be waterproof when dry let's start with noodles bulletproof black first so that I can compare the black versus the gray ink so this is noodles bulletproof black and this is Lexington gray I have also diluted bulletproof black with some water to achieve a grey tone so let's compare the diluted version versus Lexington grey I hope my camera is able to capture the differences accurately so this is Noodles bulletproof black this is the ink that I always use for my sketches this is Lexington Grey. I like the intensity. It's definitely not as dark compared to Bulletproof Black, but this is a very nice and beautiful grey tone. And this is the diluted version of the Bulletproof Black. It has a warmer color temperature, so Lexington Grey it has a cooler color temperature. When it comes to grey colors, I actually prefer greys to be a bit cooler rather than warmer. So this is a very beautiful grey in my opinion. Alright, let's try and draw something with Lexington grey. The fountain pen that I'm using right now is the Sailor fountain pen with cross music nib. This lady is wearing sunglasses. This is almost like graphite except without the graphite shine or maybe I should really compare it with a graphite pencil just to let you see the difference let me switch over to using this graphite pencil to let you see the difference I think this Lexington Grey, this ink, it can work quite well with graphite. This is the ink when it's dry. I think you can get some layering effects when you add additional layers over the lines that are dry. So something like this, you can see different shades. I think it's more obvious here so for this part I actually drew this line first and then I added the shading for the sunglasses the ink is able to maintain sharp edges on this paper it doesn't feather it has nice intensity There is some gradation, so I think the gradation starts from the starting point and then it becomes a bit grayer, a bit lighter and then it becomes darker. The transition is very subtle. For example, here I cannot see any transition at all but sometimes you can see the transition. Now that this is dry, I'm going to apply water to see if this is waterproof or water soluble. So this is quite 
water resistant actually I think this might be waterproof so this is definitely waterproof I think the paper fiber is starting to come off the paper that I'm using is not very high quality so if I apply water over it a few times the paper fiber is going to come out overall I really enjoy using this ink I love the color of Lexington gray I think I'm going to use this more often in the future for writing and also for sketching of course so that's the end of today's review if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section if you want to check out where you can get this bottle you can visit the link in the video description below and if I have any updates to my review I will put that in my text review the link is also in the video description below and lastly I want to thank Lisa Taviu for sending me this bottle Lisa is a viewer on my YouTube channel thanks a lot so that's it I hope this review is helpful to you all thanks for watching see you in the next video bye